Hello everyone, welcome to Apigee 4 minute videos for developers, part of programming of API series. In this video, we're going to talk about API proxy flows. Prerequisites for this video, you need an Apigee Edge account, you can register at apigee.com slash edge, and you need basic concepts of API proxy and proxy and target endpoint. For this, you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. In this video, we're going to see how API proxy flows works in Apigee Edge and the art of Apigee programming. API proxy flows is one of the interesting concept and it is one of my favorite in Apigee Edge. You know that Apigee Edge sits in between the client and request, where the API flow goes through the Apigee Edge. But internally, there are a lot of things that happens before it reaches the backend or the response reaches the client. You all know that there is a proxy endpoint and there is a target endpoint in Apigee Edge when you create an API proxy. The proxy endpoint has different flows and the API request and the response goes through these different flows. Proxy endpoint is divided into pre-flow, conditional flow, and post-flow. Similarly, target endpoint is also divided into pre-flow, conditional flow, and post-flow. Whenever the request comes in, it first hits the proxy endpoint, pre-flow. Pre-flow always executes no matter what. And then conditional flows. Conditional flows executes only when a specific condition matches you will define the condition using a simple XML snippet by leveraging the flow variables. After the conditional flow, post-flow executes. Again, post-flow executes no matter what. It's like a default flow. Once the proxy endpoint finishes, then the request goes to the target endpoint. Target endpoint pre-flow executes no matter what, and then conditional flow of target endpoint, where it conditionally executes based on the conditional statements that we define. And then the request goes to the target endpoint post flow, and finally the request goes to the backend. Similarly, when the response comes back from the backend, it first executes the target endpoint pre flow, then the response goes to the conditional flow, and then to the post flow. Once it finishes the target endpoint, the response comes back to the proxy endpoint pre flow, and then conditional flow, and then post flow. In the response, there is one more flow called post client flow, which is very interesting. The response goes to the client directly from the post flow to the client that made the request. So when does the post, flow, post client flow executes? Once the response goes back to the client, the post client flow executes asynchronously. We use the post client flow for executing policies like message logging without waiting to send the response back to the client. Why do we use flows? We attach policies on the flows and they execute based on your requirement. Let's take a look at the flows in action. Let's quickly create a proxy. I'm going to use a mock endpoint. Choose the defaults. Build and deploy. Once you create a proxy, when you navigate to the develop tab, you can see all the flows. As you can see, proxy endpoint pre-flow, post-flow, target endpoint pre-flow, and post-flow. And each flow has a request and response where we attach the policies. Here, the conditional flows are missing, but we can add conditional flows based on our need. For example, I want to execute a conditional flow whenever the path matches JSON. So I can choose a path and verb I can say slash json and get verb and add the flow. As you can see, we added a conditional flow and it has again the question and response. This flow will get executed whenever the path matches the slash json. As we discussed earlier, pre-flow and post-flow executes no matter what, similarly in the target endpoint. The post client flow is not visible here, but we can add the post client flow using the XML snippet. Let's quickly add a, the conditional flow and add a policy called JSON to XML and then save this. Let's quickly call the proxy. So when I call the proxy, the JSON to XML doesn't get executed. But if I say slash JSON, it will get executed and JSON is converted into XML. So that's all about the flows. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions on community.apg.com.